Daddy Donner Dance. <laughs> Tucker has been at an event all, or not all day yesterday, um, but he was at an event yesterday from like 6.30 to 10, and then all day today. He's been there since 9 o'clock this morning, and it's 7, and so I'm here to pick him up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of, like, he's had so much fun at this event. It's like this guy that's teaching out, like, teaching people how to write books and things like that, and it's really, oh, sorry, my thing's in the way. Sorry, I'm keep looking, making sure he's coming. Um, anyways, it's really intriguing. Um, I wish I could have gone, but it says like kids are not suitable for the environment and we didn't want Bobby because it's like it was like in a classroom type setting and so we didn't want Bobby like crying during it anyways. But I mean she's done so good. She's out sleeping right now. I don't know if you can see her in that mirror right there. She's done really good today. The past few days, where is he? The past few days, she's had kind of a hard day. She's um, she's been really fussy and pull like she like grips her hands at her gum. So I was wondering if she was teething, um, but she's doing much better today, which is really good. But I'm gonna see if he got by text. So one second. Okay, I'm back. So Tucker just said sent a message saying that he's gonna talk with the guy that held this event. So I just gotta chill outside the Marriott Hotel. That's where it looks like a really nice hotel. Like really nice. But anyways, so yeah, so Bobby has been running a slight fever and like grabbing at her gums. So like I said, I was wondering if she was teething, um, which I thought was really early. I mean, she's two months old. She'll she'll be three months this month and like a few weeks. So I was like, wow, that's really kind of like young for babies to be teething. So but anyways, like I said, she's better today. I was wondering also if it was like if I ate something that gave her gas because I gave her these, it's called tummy ease. It's like these herbal drops. So I gave her some of those and today like she, it, I think it really helped because she, the, yesterday, she, sorry my arm's getting tired from holding my phone. Um, yesterday her, she like didn't, I don't know it's going to sound gross, but she didn't like poop a ton. And she usually does. And so I was like, what is going on? So I was wondering if she was like clogged or something. And so, and then her tummy, she I, maybe her tummy was hurting. So I gave her some of that tummy ease stuff. And it actually seemed to really help because she's she's almost blown out of two of her diapers. Um. So anyways, that's really cool. This guy's like looking at me, like the ballet people. He's looking at me like wondering what I'm doing because I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm glad she's feeling better and she's been eating good. Oh my gosh, last night she went to bed at exactly 9 and didn't wake up till about 5.40. Holy moly, I wish I would have gone to bed early. I went to bed at 11 because Tucker wanted me to wait for him to get home and he hit some traffic so I got home kind of late. Um, but anyways, she slept so good. I was so proud of her. I was like, yes baby, you're awesome. And she's eating good oh she's just growing up it's like I love it I'm so excited to see like she is starting to stand oh my gosh I'll have to like show you guys she's starting to like strengthen up her legs and stand a lot more and she, she shakes her body because she's trying so hard to stand it is so cute anyways so she's doing really good we're both doing really good now we're just waiting for Tuck to come out hopefully he's not too long I gotta keep feeding her. Well, I mean, she's asleep, so I guess it's not that bad. But I went grocery shopping today, and I picked out the cutest outfit at Walmart. It was it was like this white with gold heart vest on it with um, a pinkish long sleeve shirt that said, "Oh crap, what did it say? Something love." Anyways, hold on. <laughs> they need me to move. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'll gotta wait for this car to move, and then I'll move up there. Just probably because they don't have a lot of space right here. Anyways, um, anyways, so yeah, I picked her. I got a really cute vest, like f outfit for her at Walmart. And but like I was debating because she still fits in newborn sizes, like her zero to three month and her three month clothes are like really big on her, so she's still in her newborn clothes. And so there, the outfit I was getting her, I was trying to decide if I wanted to get newborn or the other size. It was three to six. They didn't have a zero to three. 
And so I was like, you know, like she's gonna be out of newborns pretty quick, so I'll get 36, 326, um, and it's huge on her. I put the vest on her and it like drowns her, like goes down to her feet, it's so big. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty funny. So I'm really excited. I got that for her and things like that. So it's been like over and over. It's been a pretty good weekend. One second. So overall, it's been a pretty good week. I got sick this week. So that was kind of a bummer. I got sick on Tuesday um, with like a cold and sore throat. And today is like the first day I'm actually feeling like pretty decent. So that's nice. Um, and I think I accidentally gave it to Tucker. I really hope I didn't give it to Tucker, but he said he wasn't feeling very good this morning. And so, so I might have given it to him. So we'll find out if he gets sick. But it is so I, forewarning, I got, not really warning, but I got this really cool product. And I'll put the link in the, in the video here and in the description. It's one of those body brushing products. So... Um, I'm doing a review for this company, the startup company, um, for their product that I got. And so I'll put the description there so you guys can watch it later. Um, anyways, so I'm just sitting here waiting for Tucker. Um, nothing really much. Went grocery shopping, so that was nice. But like, so here's the dealio. Like this week was kind of hard. Like I was sick and I've been working out every single day since... I was, I think, six weeks postpartum. I've been working out, and so since I was sick this week, I haven't been, and it kind of really took me down in the dumps, and it kind of it really shows you, like, that when you're not, like, physically active, where your mind and body goes, because um, I was really kind of, like, sad this whole week, and I've been struggling, like, trying to figure out what I want to do, like, no joke my whole life ever since I was baby so like when I was young I always wanted baby dolls for Christmas and I always wanted sneezing pooping crying growing baby dolls for Christmas and I was so sad because my mom's like honey you're really not gonna get that for a while and so like my whole life all my whole life all I've wanted to be was a mom like that's just what I wanted I dreamt of that day and so now that it's like here I'm like yay like I have my baby I'm a mom now but what else like okay I hit that goal I accomplished that like it's here finally but I don't want to just stop I want to like keep going keep moving forward and so I've been really struggling this week to just kind of decide you know what do I want to do what are my talents how can I use them and I'm really drawn to helping you know helping babies helping families because I feel like a lot of parenting styles are I mean to me personally aren't the best I mean everyone's gonna parent how they were parented um, but Tucker and I have really talked about how we want to parent Bobby and experiences that we've learned from our childhood that we want to pass to her or we don't want to pass to her and things like that and so I'm really drawn to that stuff and also I'm a personal trainer and so I want to like own a gym and I'm really big into mindset so I've just been really trying to figure out what it is that I want to do See, for like Tucker and I, we really don't believe in yelling or um, spanking just because we believe that there's a better way to handle, uh, per se, punishment or whatever, or getting in trouble if like, she gets in trouble. Like, we want to take everything she does through life as a learning experience. And so if she ends up hitting a kid and the kid cries, instead of spanking her or yelling at her, take her aside and be and just explain to her why that's not nice and have her realize wow that really wasn't nice and go apologize to the kid because I believe it's done like people are people can say kids are kids yeah kids are kids but you can raise you can raise kids with manners and I feel like a lot of kids nowadays don't have manners or don't respect people or like their parents or adults and so Tucker and I are very like that's what we're gonna do we're gonna raise Bobby with the right morals how like teach turn everything into a teaching experience and not a punishing hold on one second just kidding that guy didn't need to come talk to me I thought he needed to come talk to me because I'm still sitting here waiting for Tucker anyways so to take it teach everything as a in a teaching experience because like if you're like, I don't really believe in yelling at your kids because, like, 
your kids don't know better. They're still trying to figure out kind of themselves. And I read an article that talked about like why you shouldn't spank your kids or stick them in the cor like this corner or in their room by themselves or yell at them. And it's because like it was an article where like they were saying, showing and re like telling you basically what kids are learning. And it's like, okay, if a child spills his bowl of milk and the parent yells at him for spilling, then the kid thinks that he's a bad person because he spilled the bowl of milk. He didn't mean to. Like, they're still trying to figure out their hand-eye coordination and figuring all those things out. So you shouldn't, like, I don't feel like it should be a punishment or to yell at your kids, Tuck's here! Tuck's here! <laughs> I don't feel like you should yell at your kids for spilling milk. Hi, baby! Hi, babies. They need me move. I always get in trouble. Just kidding. Emma, that was right there, and he's like, "You need to move." I'm like, "I'm sorry." Can we get over here? No, you can drive. Okay. <laughs> I was talking to that guy. Good. You seem not impressed, or maybe quite like thinking. Are you still recording? Yeah. I'm recording. <laughs> he's here finally. Huh? I've missed him. I've missed my honey. Oh, wow. I left my phone. Man, get out. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm trying to see how low I can get. <laughs> Tell him why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see how high I can get. <laughs> so, we watched this sweet beatboxer guy. He's Korean and he beatboxed to a really like, cool song and he got really, really low. So, Tucker was seeing how low he could go. And I was going to see how low I can go and I was like, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but I can go Blah. Blah. Go high. Feel your high end. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. It's okay. It's pretty high. It's got some pipes. So this is what we found out yesterday. We are fun in the car. <laughs> but we never record. But we're never but we never record. And then we're kind of boring at home. So I think we're just gonna live in our car. Yeah, we'll just live in our car. So that you guys can have a fun life while we suffer <laughs> in a four by six car. <laughs> Room. Something fun to watch. And baby girl stuck it on her hand. Oh, oh the my lights goodness! In your face. She's blinded. Blinded by the light. She's so perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so perfect. She's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that state driver totally missed the green light. State driver? Yeah, like a city driver. Like, yeah, the city. What do you mean he missed it? He was sitting there when the light was green. <laughs> really? The Jeep right there went like in front of him. Oh. <laughs> he was paying attention. Probably texting. Probably. Get, text and drive. Yeah. Be safe. Don't and record videos while driving, too. Be safe. We're recording. We safely record. Yeah. <laughs> Chee Chee. Chee Burger Chee Burger. I think that's a silly name. I was really disappointed by Godfather's Pizza. What? It was not good. I will forever oh, yeah. go to Pizza yep. Pie Cafe. Pizza Pie Cafe. Pizza Pie is Cafe total is where it's one at. On the list. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Pizza Pie is good because then pizza pie he cafe. gets his pizza. And I get my salad because they have a salad bar there. And then I and can- unlimited pizza. Yeah. And it's like good, decent quality pizza. Like it's not like Pizza Hut or it's not like whatever. Although Pizza Hut is kind of crazy after our last shenanigans that pizza. happened with them. <laughs> Whoa. Just kidding. They're, they have amazing pizza. Their pizza is really They have good. amazing pizza. But they just kind of screwed up our order. Yeah. They, so do you want to tell a story? But you I don't know, know because do I know story? you- so we were having a class party for a little class and they wanted pizza. So we're like, well, we always order Little Caesar, so let's try something let's different. Let's do so Tucker, something extravagant. Yeah. Something more than just Little Caesar. So Tucker calls, oh, nah. sorry. Tucker calls Pizza Hut and plates, puts in our order and he says, I want it, our party was at like seven or something. And he's like, I want it done at like 6.40. 6.45. And it was like the Pizza Hut, like right up by our house. Right up the street. Not even kidding, like we could have walked there. Yeah, it's really close. And so, 
they call us at like what six five six uh thirty six thirty oh yeah and they're like uh, uh you guys, you guys pizza's guys, been done pizza's for a while been ready for like 20 minutes we're like no we didn't want that we wanted it at 6 40 and then we find out that it was like 20 they for some reason it was the call went to a call center yeah not the one up here it was a call center yeah it was so like it pizza was hut's like, call center it was like 20 minutes away that we had to go pick it up and yeah it's like dude our thing starts in like 15 minutes yeah it was 20 minutes away we had to go pick it up and they gave us the wrong pizza and they gave us the wrong pizza so so they although they gave it to us half off but by the time we got well, it it was because like because trucker already... worked his magic it's like i'm not gonna drive all the way there to pay full price for a 60 dollars pizza that you guys messed up the place and our order so yeah girl mm. girl too sass you gotta do the z no that's a circle it's a z honey <laughs> anyways so that's our story but i was still wasn't that impressed i wasn't impressed the pizza was cold if it was like warm yeah right it wasn't that back. good like i would still say I, i'm a big fan of little caesars oh yeah you can never go wrong with little caesars yes and no there no. are pe no there are pizza <laughs> pizza hut's pizza especially the barbecue pizza it is amazing well that's the kind i wanted but they gave us nasty like artichoke but pizza. still amazing they just messed it up they did mess it up so here's our official review for pizza hut <laughs> get your stuff together okay seriously Anyway, so that's why we like Pizza Pie Cafe because we went to we thought we'd try something different for a date night. So we went to a place called Godfather's Pizza, and if you're from or know St. George, it's kind of like St. George's Pizza, right? Like, isn't Godfather's Pizza known because of St. George? At least that's how know. I've always known it. it was, Godfather's I mean, yeah, Pizza was guess. always in St. George. Do they know what St. George is? Anyway, St. George is a place in Where's Utah. This place? <laughs> St. George is this magical place. <laughs> it is. A place in Utah, down south, called St. George. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Yeah, go to St. George, Utah. It's down it's south. It's awesome. Southern anyways, Utah. So that's why their pizza, but anyways, it just wasn't that good of pizza. And they didn't have a salad. Well, they did, but it was like two toppings and ranch dressing. I was kind of disappointed. And their dessert pizza sucked. Pizza Pies Cafe dessert pizzas are amazing. They They're have like eight of them, and at Godfather's they had two. So this is our official Godfather's <laughs> Pizza review. Godfather's Pizza, get, get your do stuff that together. together. <laughs> That's funny. You should tag. That should be like our thing. I know. You get your stuff do, together. I do all these reviews. Just, hey, get your stuff together. Get it together, man. What? Oh, that's pizza. cool. Yeah, it's a go. It's a kit cart. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, so. Our pizza review, I guess. I pizza review. I don't know. Oh, let's just do reviews of like businesses that they so And then we could be like, get it together. Get your stuff together. Like the King Kong movie. Get your stuff together, King Kong movie. Yeah, let's, okay. Although it was cool seeing Loki, the Loki that from Thor. Cool. It was cool seeing him play like a good guy. Because <laughs> he's a bad guy. Yeah, so here's here's our official take on King Kong. Well, we already did a take on King Kong. That was our when? last video. Oh, was it? Here's our second official take on King Kong. It, it was sucked. okay, but it sucked. Like, we already know the storyline. You can't have a movie that's already, okay and suck at the We've same already time. done everything. Oh, when one. it comes to. I need we are disappointed in King Kong. Oh, yeah. Here's our second official take on King Kong. Okay, King Kong Dose. It was. It had nice twists. It was kind of cool. Um. But like at the end of the movie, I hated it. I've never wanted to not watch a movie by the yeah. end of the movie so much as compared to this last King Kong well, I mean, gorilla movie. How much can you do with a monkey? Yeah, I don't like, know. What can he do? Defeat some big animals and call it good? <laughs> like, thing. Well, I know my battery's dying. Anyways. So, King Kong two, get your stuff together. Get your. Wait, you gotta do it at the same time. Once you're done turning. Oh yeah. Hold on. Wait, pause. Wait, pause. Pause a second. Now go. So King Kong 2, get your stuff, stuff together. together. <laughs> that should be like our official thing. I think it should. I think it's fun. Like every single wrong. business that I've seen. About Hertz. Hertz is a great, just kidding. <laughs> it's a great I rental car place. But you know, we're really upset at my last time with Hertz. So Hertz, get your stuff together. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, last time we went to Hertz. Was like never, was like never, never been ago, to her. and we were so upset. Like the guy, he was wearing like a pink hat, and he wasn't even like looking at us when he tried to talk, and like his eyes were going like this. So Hertz, 
Get your stuff together. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to hear our song parody that we're going to come up with? So do you guys know the song, um, Now Watch Me Whip, Now Watch Me Nay Nay? Anyway, so I was singing that one day and I was singing it, Now Watch Me Whip, Now Call Me Nay Nay. And Tucker was like, no, that's not it. And then he came up with, Now Watch Me Whip, My Cousin Nay Nay. <laughs> so <laughs> we started going off of it. And so now our song is, Now Watch Me Whip. My cousin Nene, <laughs> now watch me whip, whip, my cousin Nene, what'd what I do? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he's like saying like, oh, what did I do? And then, so then it's like, so watch me, bop, yeah, bop. bop. And this bop. is where, this is where the cousin Nene is actually getting it's like, spanked or spanked something. Because he did something bad. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> We were laughing so hard at it. Now watch me whip, <laughs> my cousin Nene, now watch me just whip, you off whip, I my cousin right Nene, now. what did I do? That's fine. He's got to peace out, so me and Bobby girl get to go inside. The other thing that your Hi, uh, Apple does better is your I'm filming you. Is more accurate than I'm oh, filming yeah. you, honey. She's like, what is this? Do you guys remember when the I'm filming you, honey. smartphones? You said him something, right? Yes. I was yeah. like, oh. And, and when it says so it's so getting emails as a double-edged sword, I'd love to receive them, but I'm responding you know, to obligated all. obligated to respond to everybody. Well, I'm ready for bed. I have no makeup on. Teeth brushed. I'm ready for bed and I don't have any makeup on either. Oh good, I'm glad. So we went up to my sister's house to celebrate my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mother dear of mine. Great time, played pool, uh, pool ping pong, darts, um, ate cake, a chili. Um, and it's veg time. Yeah, we've been, we've on the been go. so busy this weekend. We've been on the go since Friday. The whole week we've been on the go. So yeah, it's veg so time. So it's nice just baby's, chilling. Baby's in bed, so we're just hanging out with each other, playing words with friends. <laughs> we had fun. Well, that's cool. We had fun idea to do a lot of our videos in the car and do product reviews. Because mm -hmm. we're a lot, like... But when we're, we're at fun. home, it's gonna be fun. Product I feel like we're at, when we're at home, we're like boring. But when we're in the car, we're well, like it's fun. We're, and like we're going somewhere. Lazy. We're just like mm. yeah. When we're at home, we're just like meh. We're just lazy. But we're when we're in the out. car, we're like ooh. Ooh. What? <laughs> we're in the car. Anyways, so <sighs> hope you guys had a good weekend because we did. Busy but good. We're ready for a new week, and I hope you guys are. Give us thumbs up if you're ready for a new week. Thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So. Hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys next Pound week. It. See you tomorrow. Bye.